Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you today. I am on my lunch. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos on my lunch, trying to get it uploaded on the second half of my shift. Most of the time I try to make the video if I know I'm going to make one, then I just drive home and upload it once I get there. But uh, today, big news, the secret that kind of everybody knew. I think some people were kind of hoping uh, that maybe it was going to go somewhere else, that if, if they lived closer to it or anything like that. But I think almost everybody has known that uh, Los Angeles, with that new stadium that they're building there for the Los Angeles Rams and the San Diego Chargers are going to rent it uh, to, to, to have two football teams there in L.A., get a host WrestleMania. L.A., some of the uh, the biggest WrestleManias have, have been hosted there. Uh, WrestleMania two. Uh, got to have a little bit of the show there. I think they closed out the show there. So I, I'm, I'm guessing that that's where Hogan and Bundy uh, took place. Uh, then, of course, WrestleMania 7 uh, with Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan. That To me, that's one of the biggest WrestleManias of all time. Uh, but you also got to think that they were planning on filling up the Coliseum. And you might be able to believe that they were told they couldn't have it at the Coliseum because of security threats, uh, because of the Persian Gulf War that was going on at the time, uh, that it was moved to the L.A. Sports Arena. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, you don't ever hear anybody being bummed that they bought a ticket to go to WrestleMania and they got told they couldn't go because of the, the smaller arena. So I think they really just couldn't sell out the Coliseum, pulled the plug the only thing I always hear about this story is you don't ever hear when they pulled the plug. <laughs> Did they pull it right away? Did they pull it? The way that it sounds for WWF is like days before they they got told, hey, you, you can't have it at the Coliseum. That's why it never makes sense. You don't hear anybody saying that they, they, they had a ticket and they didn't get to go. Uh, and then, of course, they had the one uh, in, oh, that was in Anaheim. I guess it's close enough. That's where the... Uh, the Mighty Ducks played, and that's where um, Shawn Michaels and uh, Bret Hart had their Iron Man match. In my opinion, one of the worst WrestleManias of all time that really doesn't have any playback value. Uh, and then, of course, WrestleMania 21 uh, with the first ever Money in the Bank. And then you got uh, Triple H and Batista. That, that I think, I'm pretty sure that's the main event. And have they had another one since then? I don't think so. Man, it's a long time since they've been in L.A. WrestleMania 21. Now they're doing WrestleMania 36, so it's been 15 years. If I'm missing one, I'm missing a big one. Um, but, you know, congratulations to LA. I can honestly tell you that uh, feeling out the group chat with Ravi and uh, Miguel, Miguel kind of seems excited to go. I can honestly tell you that I don't really have a care in the world about going to see a WWE show. Um, I mean, I, I kind of, if, if I heard an announcement that a house show was coming here to Sacramento, um, or drive down to Stockton to see one. I think I would enjoy going to see that. I just don't really want to see a television slash. I mean, I was so glad I didn't go to Hell in the Cell uh, when it was here last year. My buddy Marcus went, and and he wasn't even that big of a wrestling fan. And he said he didn't really have that much fun. He just that was the first show he ever went to. I kind of was kind of hoping he wasn't gonna wasn't gonna go. <laughs> I just didn't want to burst his bubble. But um, I don't know. I mean, the, you, you, it's not just WrestleMania, so it's not just WWF. There's so much that goes into it. The NXT shows that always happen WrestleMania weekend, those are kind of dynamite no matter what. Uh, then, of course, you got to look at, um, you know, WrestleCon. Is, it, you're going to spend a lot of money. And um, I don't know. But it, it, it's, it's always fun to meet those people. The WrestleCon wrestling show never treated me wrong. They always go dynamite all out on that. And I think they can charge twice the price for tickets that they do. And I think you'd still think that it's worth um, worth having that. And other than that, I don't know anything that's going on with Ring of Honor anymore. It kind of seems like AEW. They're going to send some guys to WrestleCon. I see them being announced. So I, I'm guessing that means that they're not actually going to run a show. They're kind of like going to be like TNA where um, in the, you know, they they did they ran a show at WrestleMania 29, but it was like way far away from where anything was going down. And um, other than that, I think they kind of stayed away from WrestleMania almost because they just didn't want the bad press that comes with not selling tickets or something like that. So um, I'm not saying the AEW couldn't sell out a show if they ran at WrestleMania weekend. I think they're just going to kind of bow out and let them have their fun. But then again, this is a year down the road. Maybe Cody's already sitting there trying to plan out what he's going to do. This is like the Young Bucks hometown, I guess you can say. Um, so maybe they'll they'll want to go all out. So there's I mean there's a lot of things that go with WrestleMania going there. I think by the tone of my voice, you can tell I'm not ecstatic 
about it, but um, I'm not telling you it's not gonna happen. I can just tell you that that I don't really feel like <laughs> going to Los Angeles to see this, but I am going to Chicago at the end of this month to see AEW Revolution, hang out with Pinko, Ravi, Justin, and Tommy. And I, I know some other people that are gonna be uh, hanging out there. Um, and, and it'll be fun to, to see some guys that I haven't seen on these wrestling trips in a long time. So we'll see what goes down. I mean, if Jim goes, I'll go. How about that? You get Jim Nine to go, I'll go on this trip. Peace out, everybody.